welcome to another episode of Breakfast by the Bay. My name is Jen, and right behind me over here is Captain Eric, and we are super excited to bring you out for a SEAL tour today. Um, I'm going to give us a minute to let everyone have some time to hop on and join us. And if you are already here with us, let me know that you can hear me and see me okay. All right, if you can hear me and see me, let me know. And then we're going to get started with our SEAL tour. Fantastic. All right, my name is Jen. For those of you who are just joining us, behind me over here is Captain Eric, who's driving us out for our awesome SEAL tour today. And we're going to get started letting you all know about SEALs and hoping even get a real capture of some seals out here, um, some real footage of some seals out on this rock. So thanks for joining us for another episode of Breakfast by the Bay. It's brought to us by 11th Hour Racing. And what are we looking for today? Well, we're looking for some seals like this. So sometimes we see our seal friends swimming around in the water, while other times we see our seal friends hanging out on some rocks or hauling out on these rocks. This is a great way for them to get some rest. Now most of the rocks that they use are only exposed during low tide. So while these rocks are underwater at high tide, the seals may be floating around to rest or swimming around looking for food. Other times when these rocks are out at low tide, Seals love to haul out on them, and they may even flip their fins in the back up and put their head up in the front and make a really cool banana position and um, get some rest that way. So we're out here today, right by Rose Island, at a group of rocks called Sighting Rock. As you can see, we are just south of the Newport Bridge. Right here at Sighting Rock is where we often like to come during the winter to see our seal friends. Now did you know that Rhode Island has a state, an official state marine mammal? We do. And the official state marine mammal for Rhode Island is the harbor seal. Now harbor seals are really great at camouflaging, so when we're still a little further away from them, it kind of just looks like a big rock out here. But as you can see, there are quite a few seals hauled out on this rock. We even have one way at the top of the rock who was probably the first one to haul out for the day. And as the tide dropped lower and lower, more rock was exposed. So more friends came out to join. Now, you may have heard me say that the seals like to be here in the winter time. Why would a seal like to visit Narragansett Bay in the winter? You would think that the bay is really cold in the winter time. Actually, these seals prefer it that way. Um, they are covered in about six inches of blubber all around their body to help keep them warm. And seals start arriving here in Narragansett Bay in the fall, so around October, November. They stay throughout the winter. And when April comes, they start to migrate back north to places like Maine and Canada and they spend their summers up north. So by the end of April, we no longer would have any more harbor seals left here in Narragansett Bay. They've made their journey back north. And in the summertime up north is where they will have their pups. Harbor seals, female harbor seals, will have about one pup one time a year. And when the pups are born, they're about 25 pounds. They only 
only live with their mother seal for about four weeks. And in that amount of time, they're able to almost double their size and learn to swim and learn to hunt on their own. And after those four weeks are up, then the harbor seal will be on their own, capable of hunting and surviving out there on their own. You do see them here grouped together on the rocks, but they actually are more of a solitary animal. Um, so right now they're kind of just sharing this space so that they all can have a place to rest. Now these seals are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act. And the Marine Mammal Protection Act states that you basically cannot harm a seal and you cannot alter their behavior in any way. And that was created in 1970. So back in the 70s and the times before that, seals were hunted. Um, and their population got very low, very small. And as this act was created and enforced, their population was able to grow and expand and get bigger. So now in Narragansett Bay, we can sometimes in the winter time see a total of up to 500 or 600 seals in Narragansett Bay. Before the act, there were not many seals at all, maybe zero, close to zero. So it's a really good improvement to see that many seals here in Narragansett Bay. It's a great sign for the bay. It shows that the water is good for them, and it also shows that there's food available here for them. So there's other species. That's a great indicator. Let's get another view of our seals out here on Sighting Rock. We're down in Newport. And every year... All right, have some other seals coming up in the other direction. This is a popular spot to see them on Sighting Rock. But we also do sometimes see them a little bit north of Rose Island. Um, and so today is a great day for that. It's very calm out here on the water. And the tide is nice and low. So we have lots of seals hauled out to view today. I have a question from Mackenzie about what do seals eat? Seals really like to hunt around the bay for different kinds of fish. But they're pretty much opportunistic feeders, so they're going to eat a lot of the whatever they can basically find. So they might also eat some mollusks like clams or mussels, different fish. They may also even eat some squid. I think I just saw a splash over there too. Let's keep our eyes looking in this direction because sometimes the seals like to get playful and play around with each other. So I do see some jumping around over here. And before we came out, we were, or before we were on Breakfast by the Bay, we were getting a count of how many seals were out here. So I have a question from Grania about a total count for our seals today, which was, how many did we see earlier? So uh, uh, today we counted about 90 seals here around Rose Island. Uh, but yesterday during our Baywide seal count, we counted 357 seals throughout Narragansett Bay, which is uh, a pretty good number. A little actually lower than previous years, but one of our big sites just south of uh, Brenton Point was very rough water, so there weren't any seals hauled there, and that's usually good for at least 100 seals. So. All right, so I'll just repeat what Captain Eric said in case you couldn't hear him. <laughs> jumping, uh, jumping down right off of Rose Island. Yesterday was our baywide seal count day. So um, there are many spots around the bay that seals like to haul out. And 
And we can't get there to all the sites with our vessels and count them um, in the same day to get an idea of how many there are. So yesterday was our Baywide Seal Count Day and with the help of lots of volunteers around the bay, we all went out to the different locations where we know seals like to haul out at and we were able to count about 357 seals yesterday, which Captain Eric was saying is a little bit lower than normal, um, but that's because of some rough wave action that was down by Brenton Point, and there weren't as many seals hauled there, but still a great number to see, um, and a really exciting day to be able to go out and count all throughout the bay how many seals are present. you all for joining us today on this episode of Breakfast by the Bay. I hope you enjoyed our seal tour and I hope that you can join us out on the bay for our seal tours that are still running through April down here in Newport. If you can't get out this year, come and join us next year when our tours start back up again in October and November. Thanks so much everybody. Have a great day and hope to catch you again on Breakfast by the Bay at 10 o'clock again next Wednesday.